Mikel, who gets the catch. He's got patrol. On the last night of the regular season, it's a top 10 matchup here from White Bear Stadium just south of the Great Lake itself. White Bear Lake and Stillwater, the Ponies and the Bears. The Ponies have the number four ranking as of today in Class 2 AA, and the Bears have the number seven ranking. Alongside Allison Volk, I'm Alex Westad. And statistically, looking at these two teams, very close in ranking, but very close statistically too. We're in line for a great matchup here tonight as that ball headed through into the box. It'll go out of bounds. It'll be a race to it to see if it's a corner or a goal kick. Near official says a corner. Yeah, tonight's gonna be a great matchup. I'm expecting it to be a very close game, maybe like a 1-0 game or a 2-1 game. Um, both these corner teams defend point. really well, but they also know how to put the ball in the net. So the Ponies will get a corner kick right off the opening draw here. And a quick chance on goal. It'll be a corner kick here taken by Stillwater. It'll be Amelia Bartosh to start it for the Ponies. Into the eight, over everybody, off of a bear. And no, it'll be off a pony. It'll be a goal kick. It also looked like it went goal off a bear to me, but uh, refs uh, saw something different, and it went off ponies. So White Bear Lake uh, got a, uh, that was a close one there for them. They uh, got out unscathed, though. Last time we were here, it was a one to nothing decision in favor of the White Bear Lake Bears, a late goal for Lauren Eckerley over the Mounds U Mustangs gave them the one to nothing victory. They have been playing well since, but they have dropped a decision. The only loss this year for White Bear Lake was a 4-2 loss at East Ridge. Otherwise, their record unblemished. Meanwhile, a run back the other way. That's Lauren Eckerley taken down there, but the ball goes back into the Stillwater side of play where the Ponies look to restart play. Stillwater, on the other hand, has a through ball here coming up to the near side where Lexi Huber, who leads the team in goals, is daughter of the head coach of the Stillwater Ponies, Mike Huber. Cross in there to fact that out of bounds, it'll be a throw coming for the Ponies. But the Stillwater Pony team, excellent in their own right, undefeated in the season, their one draw coming against that Mounds U Mustang team that the Bears needed a late goal to go ahead and win against. Yeah, so definitely, I mean, this is just gonna be a good matchup all around. Both teams, I mean, they've had, you know, really good records, like you were talking about that um, each only with uh, well, White Bear likes with one loss and with the Ponies with one tie, so we'll see what happens tonight. Tristan Leonard starts in goal tonight for White Bear Lake. It's been a platoon session, one half for one player, one half for the other this year, so Leonard will get the start. It'll be Haley Volcati most likely who will get the second half and if trends hold. This game will result in a regular season as a ball kicked out of bounds there on the far side. This game will more or less result in a Suburban East Conference Championship for one of these two sides with the Bears entering play today with 21 points and the Stillwater Ponies entering with 22. Again, three points for a win and one point for a tie. No points, of course, for a loss. Ball headed further up ahead. A relentless pursuit by the Bears results in nothing as Moore trying to get it further. The work here on the near side, communication from Smith as she tries to push the play up through into a neutral area, unable to do so though, as the ball comes back here to the back line for White Bear Lake. Chloe Samanik trying to work through, tried to move the through ball further up ahead that time for Gabby Hofeld, but it goes back down a chance the other way on the counter attack for Lexi Huber. Huber slowing up, trying to work around Marin Schoberl. Huber working back out on the edge of the 18, the whistle blows. And the Bear fans don't like that infraction call. Free kick, water. Yeah, I think that's the right call there, though. Um, I mean, she was taken down pretty good, but at that point, you know, too, as a white bear like defender, there's not much. I mean, there's something you got to do something. So, well, well, she kind of looks like I don't know. So Huber will get a free kick here for Stillwater, just outside the edge of the 18. Great chance for the Ponies here early. Huber, right for the kick, high over the crossbar. It'll go out of play. It'll be a goal kick coming for White Bear Lake. And for a good a chance as that was for the Stillwater Ponies, not a whole lot you could do there. The wall held in that case for White Bear Lake. Leonard's 
clearing attempt was intercepted and deflected off the foot of Marissa Benia. Chance in again for Huber. And Tristan Leonard comes out to make the save. She has been busy tonight. Near side, Jasmine Blair waits for Eckerley to play it further, but can get knocked off of Amelia Bartosh that time. It'll be a throw coming near side for White Bear Lake. Eckerley will drop the ball, though, as another one gets thrown in. Fifth minute of play, no score. Bears and Ponies here from White Bear Stadium. The last regular, se regular season game for both of these teams as we'll start a Suburban East Conference playoff at some point in the next week. Again, that schedule, well, the format for that schedule too will be released in the days to come, so certainly stay tuned towards all of, of your social media, and you can find more information about that as that this arrives. This is sponsored by Social Distancing. <laughs> Learn it, live it, love it. Throw here on the near side of coming for Stillwater. As it goes looking for Huber. Nice little head play that time by Eckerley as she tries to thread the needle there, but cannot do so. Semanic back on the back line, intercepted again here by Bartosh as it's taken away once again. And so far, the defense here of White Bear Lake has been excellent in the attacking half. Now Gabby Hofeld trying to work through for Nick Moore, and Moore is pushed down. The whistle will blow. It'll be a free kick again for White Bear Lake. Free kick, White Bear Lake. It seems to be the good first uh, push White Bear Lake has had all game, so we'll see if they can make anything out of it. Eckerley will take a free kick from about 30 yards out in goal tonight for Stillwater. It's number zero, Hadley Johnson, who will get the start for Stillwater. And Hadley Johnson, much like with White Bear Lake, splits time with number one, Sydney Gritters, and only one goal allowed recorded for, for uh, Hadley Johnson this season. Eckerley on a line drive, high over the top left corner, out of bounds, a goal kick up coming here for Stillwater. Goal the Ponies, Stillwater. as we look at their regular season schedule, again, the one tie to Moundsview, but otherwise wins by multiple goals in every other contest. Yeah, this is a team that is definitely not used to losing. Um, they definitely, you can tell, have some confidence, some swagger about them as they're on the field right now playing this game. And they know how to, you know, be on the offensive side of the ball and quickly turn uh, um, defense into offense. Battled for right near the White Bear Lake bench. It's Jasmine Blair who wins that first play, but it goes on to the defensive back line as Marin Schobro will send it further up ahead. Can be played down once again. Almost a handball there by Fettinger, but a great job to hold the line on that far side before the ponies will race over back to play it. Sophia Stebley, who had a hat trick Three goals in her last in the last time these two teams played back on October the 3rd of 2019. It was a five to nothing decision in favor of the Stillwater Ponies. It was Steble who had three goals for the Ponies, and it was Lexi Huber who had the other two for Stillwater. That gave them the five to nothing decision. But overall, the head-to-head -head between these two teams has been fairly even as of late as the Bears hold a one-game advantage in the head-to-head -head over the last 10 matchups dating back to 2012. As the ball goes out of bounds here, we'll have another throw. It'll be a Stillwater throw. And that from the area, so I don't know too much about it. I definitely said that would make these teams kind of rivals. Um, it's kind of one of those games that you get up for. It's a big game of the season. You know it's always uh, going to be a good, tough game, and it's going to be a game that you're just going to obviously want to beat super bad. Ball bouncing around there. Nice play by Fettinger. Whistled down, though. A little bit too aggressive on that chance. It'll be a throw for or a free kick for the ponies. It'll be CJ Fredkov to take the kick for the Stillwater ponies right in front of the White Bear Lake, White Bear Lake bench. As a right-footed kick into the area, looking for a redirection. Oh, just past Leonard to the right. It'll be a goal kick here for the White Bear Lake Bears. That uh, kick was perfectly placed for her teammates to get in there and try to make something of it, just to tap it into the net. We said it the last time we were here, even though Allison wasn't here, it was Jordan Gustafson and said, we said it the last time we were here, but White Bear Lake has done an excellent job adhering to social distancing and COVID practices so far this season. Again, the benches as they argue for a White Bear Lake throw, and that's a call that they'll get. But the benches were, and the chairs have been spread out. The Stillwater Ponies have moved theirs a little bit closer, unfortunately. Parents still more or less in their pods, and again, the QR code rosters as you can come into the stadium. White Bear Lake has certainly done an excellent job of respecting COVID protocols and making sure that we can continue to play for as long as possible. 
There's a cross there off of Shoveril's back. It'll be a corner the second of the game for Stillwater. Corner kick, Stillwater. They had one inside the first minute here as we've reached the 10th minute mark of play. No score, Bears and Ponies in what amounts to be a Suburban East Conference Championship game. On the cross, looking for the redirection off the head of Bartosh. It goes all the way out to the back line. They'll send it back into the 18 off the foot of one of the Bears. And it'll be another corner here coming up for the Ponies. Right now, Ponies are definitely uh, taking control of this game. The ball has been in the Bears' half um, for a lot more time than the Bears have had the ball in the Ponies' half. Bartosh will take the corner from the far side again for Stillwater. Got under the right foot of kick just a little bit. Back into the six, can be cleared out. So try to move the ball outside of the 18. Still unable to do so as it's held in here. And then finally, still trying to get the ball out of the 18. And it comes to Jasmine Blair, who's able to send it off of a pony leg out of bounds. And a bear throws. We have our first substitutions of the contest as Emma Wickstrom and Olivia Haas will come into the game, replacing Alexa Smith. And Patrick then the for White Bear Lake, number 22, should be Jasmine Olivia Blair Haas on the near side being replaced. 26, Emma Wickstrom. It's a throw. A little too far for Wickstrom. Moore tried to play. And now a chance here for Wickstrom near wing. Wickstrom had it blocked off the foot of one of the ponies. Where it can be Fred Gove who cuts it back. Will elevate near side looking for the bench, but it goes out of bounds into a stack of chairs, and it'll be another White Bear Lake throw for Eckerley. Eckerley's throw, looking for Wickstrom. He's able to find more before it gets redeflected. Back into the middle of the field for Samanic. Far side, Hofeld. He's trying to play that time on a chance there, but the ball passed Hofeld as it's skillfully played out of bounds by the ponies and they'll reset the chance defensively. That was definitely a good look. Uh, they had the right idea there, just didn't execute it um, well. It was just a little bit ahead of her uh, teammate there. Ball out of bounds, another Stillwater throw. For the Stillwater ponies, again coming in to today, they last played Thursday, a road, fi a home fixture rather against Creighton Durham Hall, a two to one decision. But otherwise, their road record has been spotless so far this year. A 2 to nothing victory, 9 to nothing victory, 6 to nothing victory, and a 5 to nothing victory over teams in the Suburban East Conference. This will be a throw on the far side here for White Bear Lake. Ackerley to take the throw on what's a very typical fall night here. Nice gentle breeze at times. Eckerley on the throw, looking into the 18, goes off of the head of a couple of bears, forced back, and then cleared further once again as the ponies will try to work it back the other way on the far side. Excellent through ball there, and a chance for White Bear Lake. No, as it goes out, and it'll be a goal kick. Goal kick, Stillwater. So goal kick for Hadley Johnson for the ponies, wearing a gray Jersey, as the rest of the ponies wear white. The kick comes into the middle, headed further back into the 18. Trying to work their way around are a number of the Bears as the ball can be cleared back into the 18. Back on the outside fringe of it, though, with, with, with Wickstrom. So try to go near side here for Fettinger, who's able to slow down and play it further. Moving it back here, near side, looking for Huber back the other way for the Ponies. Choberl able to make a skillful play. As she'll chip it back further up ahead, but the flag on the far side is up, and so offside, the call. Stillwater gets a free kick as a result. It'll be Nora Wilczek to play it and resume a play here for Stillwater. 14th minute of play, no score, Bears and Ponies. Both teams in their final contest of the regular season before the playoffs, or the conference playoffs can begin soon. Again, not the same as a section with a state tournament as it is in years past. It'll look a little bit different, but that's kind of how things have been all year. And as long as kids get a chance to play, that's what we're here for and that's what we're here to see. Throw far side for Stillwater. So work it back in, header. Knocked around, chance now for the Bears to come back up. Here's Leckerley, 
Trying to work around some stout defense here by the Ponies. To work back now with a chance into the outside edge of the 18. Leonard able to get to it to the left side. She'll make a save and she'll hold on. Leonard's kick, middle of the pitch. Try to be cleared by Hofeld. Hofeld trying to restart play along that far sideline. It's Charlie Adam. Had it for White Bear Lake, but then lost it. And now Hofeld will come back, resetting at the middle. Ecker Lane, nice little spin move. Shoveled further along now for Samanic. Nice touch there. Ecker Lane working back before a great job that time for Grace Kleppe, clearing the ball back into the offensive half for the Stillwater Ponies. And they'll reset. So far, Stillwater has been very stout defensively. We knew that coming in. And the Bears have not really gotten high quality looks as of yet on the Stillwater net. Yeah, they've had a few um, kind of good chances here and there, but otherwise, I mean, Stillwater's just done a really great job of uh, defending against White Bear. They're really good at quickly moving the ball up the field to their forwards and midfield and uh, kind of flipping the, the field or tilting the field in their favor. Both teams continue to move the ball slowly up and down the sidelines off of throw-ins. We'll continue to wait for a continuation of play here. Back inside, Ponies try to work it in, but this ball will go harmlessly over the goal line. Another goal kick here for White Bear Lake. Goal kick, White Bear Lake. For White Bear Lake, their last match, as they played most recently, I'm looking for it here somewhere in my notes. Seems to be having a hard time finding it. Apologize about that. As the last time that White Bear Lake played, that came last Thursday as they defeated the Woodbury Royals by a score of three to, no, three to one. And their last loss a week ago today came here at East Ridge by a one to nothing decision. Otherwise, wins all bound for the Bears. So an excellent form is White Bear Lake. Out of bounds once again. Play will continue to work back on that far sideline. It's a throw. Almost in play, but a whistle blows. It'll be another opportunity for the Stillwater Ponies back the other way. 18th minute of play now. It'll be a throw from the far side upcoming here for Stillwater. White Bear Lake able to play it, and again it goes out of bounds. Both teams struggling to keep the ball in play, intentionally or otherwise. Again, this ball will find its way just past the corner flag, out of bounds. Another goal kick upcoming. Goal kick now, when there's away. moments in the game such as this, when the ball just consistently finds its way out of bounds, is that just good defense or is it sloppy play? I think it can be a little bit of each. Um, sometimes on your D, the only thing you can do is just clear it out. Um, but it's also, you know, some sloppy play too. Um, you'd like it if you could, you know, kind of clear that out, made to the middle of the field, get it to your forwards instead of, um, you know, just keep it, kicking it out of bounds. Another substitution Enter here for match. White Bear Lake on the near side. Cammie Bachmeyer, Sydney Johnson, Johnson enter the game as they will replace Gabby Hofeld and I believe that's Charlie Adam on the far side of the pitch. Of White Bear Lake throw. Ball inside immediately finds in the incoming Johnson. Fettinger. As a reset again for Schoberl back in the, their own defensive half of the play. Goes all the way back now and a chance here for Leonard on a line right into the middle of the pitch. Taken away here again though by White Bear Lake. Wickstrom, Wickstrom working her way around the White Bear Lake defense, or the Stillwater defense rather, excuse me. Back here near side, chipped play. Try to go a little bit further that time off of Fettinger's foot as the ball will come out of bounds here near side. Another chance in the attacking third for White Bear Lake. Ackerley to take the throw. As we've hit the, 19 minute, the 19th minute of play. No score as of yet. Ackerley's throw into the 18, goes off of Moore's head, can come back outside of the edge. Good challenge that time from Samanic to force the ball back out to the far side. Intercepted again as White Bear Lake will look to reestablish their attack. Back once again, middle of the pitch. 
Excellent job of back checking that time by Lauren Eckerle, who will reset. Fettinger worked around and uh, some great play by Bonilla. There's a ball roll out of bounds, and that's a matchup to watch too, with Bonilla being so strong on that back foot. Off of White Bear Lakes Wickstrom, and it'll be a throw here for Stillwater. There's another substitution waiting on the White Bear Lakes side. Huber. Battled for with Fettinger, a little bit of a push there, and the White Bear Lake fans react accordingly. It'll be a ball out of bounds. It'll be a throw coming here for White Bear Lake. And the flag is up, a bit of a conversation. There'll be a substitution here. Entering the match for White Bear Lake. As Izzy Zimmerman will Izzy come Zimmerman. in and will replace Jordan Schmidt deal. Zimmerman's throw headed Huber. Try to move that player, that's Bartosz rather, as the ball will go out of bounds once again. Another White Bear Lake throw right near the trainer's table. Bettinger tried to spring a chance that time for Johnson mid-pitch, but it goes through on a through chance now here, and the goaltender Handley Johnson will come out to make the save for Stillwater. Johnson look to, looking to restart play here for Stillwater. Nice ball right through the middle. Johnson off of her foot. Battled for Ackerley. Nice move to cut it back. Trying to do some fancy footwork to get around the defense of Stillwater. As the through ball was looking for more that time, again deflected past everybody out of bounds off the foot of Bonilla. And another throw coming for Stillwater. Some substitutes on the near side are warming for the Stillwater Ponies. They have not made a substitution as of yet near 22 minutes into this game. Eckerley's throw looking inside of the 18, and that's the first official shot on goal that Hadley Johnson has had to face. She'll hold on, and we'll have action back the other way. Wait for like starting to put on a little bit of pressure now. Um, I'd like to see him get a little bit more uh, quality chances, so we'll see what happens here, but... Maybe they're starting to get their confidence up a little bit against the Stillwater team. Headed play off of Huber that time. Leonard came outside of the six, right to the edge of the 18 to make that play. Elevated ball. Comes back here on the near side. Bonilla tried to pursue for Stillwater, but out of bounds. Another throw for White Bear Lake incoming. Looking back here near side for Wickstrom. Wickstrom tried to work around Blundgren, was able to push it back to the center before it comes back here near side Eckerle. Ackerley tried to go through the legs that time of the defender Lundgren, but was unable to do so, and it'll be another throw coming here for White Bear Lake. Zeckerley's throw intended for more, can be played further now here, and a chance into the area this time from Wickstrom. The ball will go out of bounds. That should be a corner kick, the first of the game for the Bears. Good pressure put on by White Bear Lake. That was a great through ball there. Um, you know, great job corner to uh, kind of set this up and hopefully they can make something happen out this corner. The first corner kick of the game for White Bear Lake. Stillwater with three already. As it'll be Wickstrom to take it for the Bears. Not Wickstrom rather, I thought it said 22, 26, it says 22 and said Olivia has to take the free corner for White Bear Lake. And so Hass, right footed kick into the area, headed out by the Ponies, and they'll be able to go to the ball and start the counterattack, but back the other way as Bonilla, with a long drive, looking on the near side, goes off the head that time of Fettinger after reaching the ground first. Leonard will get to it, and she'll look to start the counterattack back the other way. Eckerley battling with Bonilla, the whistle blows, advantage White Bear Lake. Three pick, White Bear Lake. Here's Myron Schoberl. We'll restart play on the White Bear Lake defensive line. There's a kick onto the attacking side of the field for the Bears before Stillwater able to get to it again. Huber has to circle around and get back to it. Bonilla has it again here for Stillwater. Bonilla trying to work around Schoberl. Still trying to work around. A little bit of contact there from the Bears before it goes back here in a chance now as Bonilla goes cross attempt, goal kick as they ruled that it went off of one of the Pony players. Quick substitution now for Stillwater 
as Luca Johnson will come into the game as well as Maya Notch and another substitution for White Bear Lake as Charlie Adam returns to the game. Leonard's right foot a kick. Battling for it is Eckerle. Still battling for it a little bit after the fact with Maya Notch. Eckerle. Trying to spring play back the other way. For the ponies can maneuver the ball back into their own defensive half. A chance now as it goes off the foot there of Lundgren. All the way back now to Johnson. Further here near side is lower. Uh oh Chance now back the other way for White Bear Lake. No, Stillwater gets it. A little bit of a defensive miscue for the White Bear Lake Bears as Sophia Stepley gets her name on the score sheet. One to nothing, Stillwater. Yeah, she seemed, the, I don't know if the defenseman just didn't see her or what, but she kind of snuck up on them um, on the backside and was able to just nicely put the ball in the net. Sophia Stepley gets the goal. Stillwater goal. Scored by number 27, for Sophia Stablai. For the, the, the Stillwater Ponies, that's her seventh of the season. And Sophia Stablai, the pronunciation on that one, apologies if you would, gets the, <laughs> gets the Ponies on the scoreboard. Semantic, as the Bears look to equalize. Trying to feed it in front and restart play back the other way for Olivia Hess off the foot of one of the Bears out of bounds. It'll be a throw coming on the far sideline for Stillwater. As for one of the stats that our statistician and researcher David Schuyler looked up prior to the game, how important it is for both of these teams to be leading at the half where since the between the years of 2019 and 2020, Stillwater 21 and 0 when leading at the half, White Bear Lake 12 and 0 when leading at the half, and neither team has trailed at halftime coming into play today. So far with the Ponies leading one to nothing, it certainly appears as though that streak for one of these teams may be in doubt. As Fettinger will get the chance to throw here on the near sideline. Wickstrom tried to maneuver it back into the center. As Wickstrom knocks it down with the bottom of the foot. Back here, Bania. Right near the near sideline as Fred Gov is able to play it further. Huber fighting right near the near line out of bounds and it'll be a White Bear Lake throw. Near side, Fettinger. Off of the chest of Maya Notch out of bounds and the Bears will move up the field further. Throw goes all the way off of the head of a bear, can be taken again here by Charlie Adam, trying to cross in front for Eckerle. Eckerle slowing it down, looking for Charlie Adam back out in front. Adam from a sharp angle, sprawling save that time. She didn't need to do that, but she was able to get there for Hadley Johnson and force another White Bear Lake corner. I was going to say, yes, she definitely did not need to do that. Um, but now White Bear Lake's, uh, they're fortunate that she did because now they get to have a corner kick and try to tie this game up. This will be the second corner kick of the game for White Bear Lake. As near sideline, Olivia has to take it. Kick into the area. A little bit of communication. Still in the inside edge of the six. You see the ponies looking for a handball. The whistle blows. I think they'll get that call as it'll go the other way. Free kick still water. Free kick here for the ponies. CJ Fred come to start play. For Stillwater. She'll send a chip shot here near side as the ponies head it further along. Showborough off of Huber's back. Can be played again. Huber trying to take advantage of another turnover by White Bear Lake, but the Bears able to reset and begin play again. Wickstrom near side, out of bounds. It'll be a throw coming here for White Bear Lake after a couple of substitutions as Alexis Smith will re-enter the game, replacing Olivia Haas. Entering the match for White Bear Lake, number three. A little throw here near side for Abby Fettinger. We've hit the 29th minute of play, one to nothing. Stillwater leads. Step lays goal at the 25th minute. Off of a White Bear Lake defensive miscue has given the, Bear, the Ponies the one to nothing advantage. Lexi Huber trying to work back around the defense. Again, bodied very, very well that time by the Bears as they force her out of play. And the shot from a sharp angle from well far out for Steble goes right into Tristan Leonard. 
And they'll look to start the counterattack. Fredkov, header. Moved further. Bania. Bania. Contact a little bit early there that time by Fettinger. It'll be a free kick free here kick for Stillwater. And so Fred Cove will take the free kick. And they had a really good chance about 20 minutes ago of game time off of one of the free kicks where everybody ran towards the back post. They're doing that again here. No bear is back there. And so offsides is called. A little bit too aggressive on the free kick there was Stillwater. And so the offsides flag was up. That was a good job by White, White Bear Lake to defense. Just kind of stand there, ground, and let White uh, Stillwater uh, draw themselves offsides. Tristan Leonard to take the goal kick here. Or no, it would be a free kick, excuse me. Free kick here for White Bear Lake. On a line. Looking for Smith, middle of the field. Can be taken away, though, by Stillwater. Forward play now and a chance. Eckerley, or Adam, rather, has it go off of her foot. This time it's Eckerley trying to defend against Huber. Fred Cove here near side. Bonilla, foot race to the ball with Fettinger. As it goes out of bounds and it will be another White Bear Lake throw on the near side. We'll have the whistle as there will be another substitution here as Wickstrom will come out and will be replaced here by Emma Merriman. Enter the match for White as the Bears Lake. start to roll their depth of their team just a little bit. Merriman. Has it off of her side immediately out of bounds. It'll be a Stillwater throw. Here's Lundgren. Looking for Bania. Headed further by Eckerley. Resetting middle. Hofeld. Comes back here near side over Merriman. Before Eckerley able to chip it again. At time. Charlie Adam. For Alexis Smith. Cutting back. Had a chance there for Sidney Johnson. But chose to take it back to the middle. Smith again. Working her way back. Semanic. Far sideline looking for Johnson. Johnson unable to get there, though. Out of bounds, it'll be a throw coming for Stillwater on the far side. Semanic off of her chest again as the ponies choose to push the pace up the field just a little bit here in the 32nd minute of play. One to nothing. Stillwater leads. Tied up right near the middle. Can be taken further here. Eckerley. Repositioning, looking for a chance. As Johnson tried to work in, lost the handle on it though, and Notch can restart the counterattack for the ponies. Looking for Bania, past Bania and Fettinger both. And so Tristan Leonard comes here near side, just on the edge of the 18 to play it with the gloves. Leonard, kick into the air, knocked down. Stop with both shins on the near side. We'll try to restart here again for Merriman. Looking further for Smith. Smith trying a through ball on the counterattack. Looking on that far side to try to spring Cammy Bachmeyer. But the goaltender Hadley Johnson able to get to it out of bounds. And a goal kick up coming here for Stillwater. Johnson. Through center. Nice play by Lauren Eckerley. As they try to again continue these rushes here. Boy Bear Lake has had a number of chances back the other way, and now they'll get a chance to reset defensively where Tristan Leonard can get to it again. But White Bear Lake's had a number of chances in to the attacking third of the Stillwater side, but they just haven't had the ability to finish them off and really make them a, a quality scoring chance. As Huber back the other way, looking to reset, has Bania middle. Huber trying to work around Semanic and Fettinger both. Should work here back on the near side for Fred Cove. Fred Cove across right into the hands of Leonard, who's able to reach up and get to it. And she'll start play back the other way. Merriman again spins, tried to feed Smith. The ball taken away here now. Sidney Johnson back for Smith again as the Bears look to start the counterattack. Alexis Smith further on that far side for Cammie Bachmeyer. Bachmeyer taken down. Whistle does not blow. Out of bounds, though. It'll be a wiper like throw. Yeah, Wiper Lake seems to kind of get into the last third of the field and then just hit a stone wall. Um, Stillwater's defense has been doing a great job of causing Wiper Lake to maybe make some mistakes to force some turnovers and get the ball going back the other way. 
Entering the match for White Bear Lake, number five, Gabby Hofeld. Gabby Hofeld, Nicole, Nicole Moore, and, and number 41, Emma Fawkes. Emma Fawkes, number 41, entering the game for the first time today. Otherwise, Moore and Hofeld returning from the bench in a brief reprieve with six minutes remaining here in the first half. Tied up near side. Tried to move it back up again here, and Stillwater seems to be working at moving the ball back into the defensive back line and making White Bear Lake make mistakes. It's how they got their first goal, and it seems to be their, their message on the attacking side. Yeah, it definitely seems to be the way they're going. They're uh, trying to um, outwork and kind of out-hustle, out-speed White Bear Lake's uh, defense right now. Alexis Smith with a through ball, looking for Charlie Adam far side, but no, the goaltender Hadley Johnson able to get to it. First for Stillwater, and she'll hold on and get the chance to play. Substitutions awaiting on the Stillwater side for the next whistle. As Hadley Johnson under it just a little bit, is able to elevate. A work back here near side, trying to push the pace of play back towards the Stillwater net was Emma Merriman. She's able to force a throw here near side for Fettinger. Abby Fettinger looking for Merriman, but intercepted that time. Eckerle tried to touch pass further and then sent out of bounds for by Sophia Lundgren near side. And another throw coming for White Bear Lake, where they've had a couple of throws from this kind of spot of the field, but just don't have the chance yet. As Eckerle's throw into the area, headed right into the open part of the pitch, but unable to get a foot on it as it goes out of bounds in a corner here for White Bear Lake. Yeah, she's got a really corner strong throw there. She's right able to there. basically throw it like you would kick it um, into right in front of the net there. And I thought, you know, for sure we were going to have White Bear Lake goal on that one. Alexis Smith to take the corner here for White Bear Lake. Both teams 0 for 5 combined as Smith into the six, looking for the headed play there, but Johnson was able to get to it for Stillwater. Back into the area, but the flag up on the far side. And the White Bear Lake fans want a handball there, but the offside flag was up first. Free kick, Stillwater. Yeah, once again, Stillwater's doing a great job of making sure their defense moves up, forcing White Bear Lake's uh, forwards and strikers to move up as well, um, so that way they don't get those second chances. So outside edge of the six yard box. And again, as the Bears looking to start to improve the rate of play off of Merriman's foot out of bounds, Stillwater throw. There'll be substitutions now for the Ponies as Madeline Purdy and, and Amelia Bartosz re-enter the game Purdy. for Stillwater as they will replace Amelia Maya Bartosz. Notch and Luca Johnson. <laughs> so throw in, headed by Eckerle once again. Near side, Bonilla. Bonilla looked as though patient to force Eckerley to make the throw out of bounds, or the play out of bounds. That's exactly what happened. Huber trying to battle, got around Schoberl or Eckerley just a little bit there. They we're looking for the whistles, the ball out of bounds here again. Another Stillwater throw. Bonilla mishandles the throw and goes out of bounds here again for a White Bear Lake throw. One to nothing. Stillwater leading. 25th minute, Stable has scored for the Ponies. Play now seeming to go back and forth between both sides. Near side again, Lundgren off of the hip that time of Fred Kult. So again, it comes back the other way. Merriman looking for a through ball that time for Adam, but it goes all the way to a resetted chance as Merriman tried to battle for it. Eckerly plays it down. Back into the attacking third now as the ball can bounce out of bounds. It'll be a still water throw up coming. And again, you mentioned earlier the two teams not necessarily the closest in conference to each other. Moundsview and Roseville, two schools that are closer, but certainly the rivalry between these two teams as a through ball here now and a chance, oh, just past the foot of Nicole Moore and Hedley Johnson able to get to it. But the rivalry between these two teams, strong as always. Yeah, especially when it's, you know, back and forth on who's winning, you know, each team has about a 500 record against each other. That definitely um, helps heat up the rivalry a little bit. Whistle blows, advantage White Bear Lake as Eckerle battled with C.J. Fredkov, middle of the field. It'll be a free, free kick, kick right, right at the midfield dot. And it'll be Eckerle to take it here, 38th minute. It's a drive. 
right into the edge of the 18, back into the six, out of bounds, and a corner kick is ruled for White Bear Lake. Another chance here for them. They've been gotten close on a lot of their chances, so it's uh, time to see if they can finally finish one off. Lex Smith to take it from that far corner. Here's we're winding down the opening stages of half number one here from White Bear Stadium. Into the six, headed out of harm's way. Nicely that time by the Ponies. As we'll still battle for it right on the side, the edge of the 18 before the Ponies look to start the counterattack. Steble will send it back all the way down to the defensive third for White Bear Lake. Tristan Leonard will come out to make the play. As there'll be one last chance here on the rush for White Bear Lake. Leonard, right footed kick. Knocked away this time by Bartosh. Trying to look through for Stebley. Out of bounds here again. Another Stillwater throw. There's a Pony faithful on the far sideline. Certainly like the effort that they've seen out of the Ponies so far in this opening half. Great offensive chances and pretty strong defense on the other side. Ball out of bounds once again. And it'll be another throw up coming here for Stillwater here in the last 15 seconds of minute number 40. Chance now here in the dying moments of it there, but it's defended well that time by Schoberl. And she'll get a throw here, but they may be content to simply wait the clock out, reset, and for the first Two. time this year, One. White Bear Lake will enter halftime trailing in a contest. And we mentioned how important it was for both teams to be leading, as both teams were undefeated in both 19 and 20, leading after a half of play. Stillwater has that advantage here in this one. Yeah, um, that has been really important for both these teams. But you know what? White Bear Lakes is also a good team. So they, they haven't been in this position before. But this is really going to test their resiliency as a team and see um, who's going to step up, who's going to be a leader, who's going to kind of put their team, this team on uh, her back and carry them to victory. The one goal of the opening half scored at the 25th minute by Sophia Stebling. And that's how I've gotten to the one to nothing uh, score that we currently sit at. We'll be back in just a few moments to recap the first half. This is your home for White Bear Lake Soccer. Some kids never smile. They're embarrassed by their crooked teeth. They want braces like the other kids, but their families can't afford them. Some may even try to straighten their teeth themselves. That can make everything worse. Luckily, there's Donated Orthodontic Services, a program from the American Association of Orthodontists. It helps provide orthodontic treatment to kids and teens whose families can't afford it. For kids who apply, are approved, and are matched with a volunteer orthodontist, it can be life-changing. Their treatment is in the hands of an expert, a licensed local orthodontic specialist who improves their smiles by correctly aligning teeth and jaws. Some kids think they'll never smile again, but donated orthodontic services may help them smile with confidence. To link to the application and eligibility requirements, visit aaoinfo.org. I had to leave my parents. I had to move schools. I don't know anyone here. Everything keeps changing. Why is this happening to me? I'm sure glad you're here. Change a child's story. There's a child in foster care waiting for a volunteer like you. Learn how you can help at casaforchildren.org. Sometimes, there's no do-over. Some things you can't rewind. That's when an extra safety step could mean the difference between a close call and a call to 911. Simple steps save lives. Learn more at poolsafely.gov. Thanks for buying a fishing license. I want you to picture all of the great things this simple purchase does. Like building public boat ramps, keeping local waters clean, and maintaining a healthy fish population. What's mom doing? When you buy a fishing license, you do a lot. Every dollar protects and maintains your local waterways for future generations to enjoy. Visit TakeMeFishing.org. 
let's roll. Wait, what's that? A hawk feather? That's right, baby. His job is important. But this is what matters most. Halftime at White Bear Stadium, Stillwater 1, White Bear Lake nil. Alongside Allison Volk, I'm Alex Westan. And we knew Allison coming into the, the contest today, we knew that these two teams were pretty evenly matched. And throughout much of that first half, it felt like they really were. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I mean both teams had uh, some good chances uh, in their respective offensive zones. Um, and both teams also had were able to defend well. Um, when they were called upon. Uh, obviously, Stillwater had the one chance where it's kind of a defensive breakdown on White Bear Lake's part, and they, uh, therefore, was able to just sneak it by their goaltender. You see there the coaches doing their work at halftime. Mike Huber for the Ponies in his ninth season for the Red and Black, and the co-head coaching tandem of Dave Ashley and John Durkheising for White Bear Lake. Coaching giving feedback from uh, a, a first half of play which saw only one goal, and that goal came on the foot of Stillwater's number 21, Sophia Steble, on a defensive miscue in White Bear Lake for a defensive line, as we see here, a defensive line that typically does not give up many missed chances there. And Leonard did everything that she could to stop that ball, but a nice job on picking a corner for the Stillwater Ponies. Yeah, I think on the defensive miscue, I don't know. Um, she just kind of sneaked up on them, I think. It seemed like uh, White Bear like, wasn't expecting that she was there. She, they turned around, they also thought, oh no, uh, here she is, let's try to get after her. But at that point, of course, it's already too late. On the corner kick opportunity, Stillwater had three early on. White Bear Lake had four scattered towards the back half of the opening half. On set pieces, it looked as though White Bear Lake did the better of creating chances inside the six, but just weren't able to finish any off. Yeah, I'd say they probably had, you know, made one or two chances on each corner kick that they had, but uh, Stillwater did a great job of pushing their defense up and pushing the ball out of the zone, so White Bear Lake had to go with them, um, even drive them off sides uh, one, one time. Earlier in the game, we mentioned the last 10 matchups between these two teams. And last year's matchup, again, 5 to nothing in favor of the Stillwater Ponies. Three goals from Stebley, two from Huber in that contest. Beyond that, though, the, f the matchups have been fairly streaky for both teams, where White Bear Lake had a two-game winning streak going into last year. Stillwater won the last three before that, including a, a section playoff game in 2016, and then four in a row by White Bear Lake in what's been a very back-and-forth rivalry on this side of the soccer pitch. Yeah, this is definitely a rivalry in the making. You kind of know um, when you're a high school player in the back of your mind what your record is going um, into an opponent's stadium. And when you see that, you know, oh, look at that. The last four four games played against them were tied 2-2. Let's break that tie. We want to, you know, uh, move it forward. Taking a quick look at the rankings for Class 2A, we see that White Bear Lake is in there. Stillwater is in there both in their usual spots. Again, that is the rankings as of today. Rosemont and the Irish, top of the, of the rankings in Class 2. The A, the Adina Hornets, Champlain Park Rebels, Stillwater Ponies, Centennial Cougars, Lakeville North, Panthers, White Bear Lake Bears, Minnetonka Skippers, Wyzetta Trojans, and the Rogers Royals round out the top 10 in what's a very competitive and very top-heavy Class 2A. Yeah, this is uh, definitely a matchup to watch tonight. Um, you know, with, you have number four and number seven playing against each other in uh, the rankings, you know, it's, you're going to get a good match. And I think we said, you know, at the beginning of this game, we're expecting a 1-0 or a 2-1 kind of game. And that's kind of the feel that I have gotten after this first half. Stats for both teams dating back to the start of 2019. When leading at the half, Stillwater and the Ponies are 21-0 and undefeated in that regard. White Bear Lake is 12-0 and in that same, however, not being, not having the luxury of being in that position tonight. What's the message for the Bears coming out of the half? I think this is when you got to show the character of your team. Um, you know, the message coming out of that half, I guess, if I was the coach, it's, you know, maybe fix some things, tweak some things here and there defensively, you know, talk about what you can do better technically. But, hey, we haven't been in this position before, so this is our time to shine. It's time to show our character of our team. Um, you know, we're only down by one. We have another full 40 minutes to play, so let's put some in the net and, uh, you know, play hard and, um, you know, don't give up. And on the other side of things for the Stillwater Ponies. Stillwater Ponies, you know, it's kind of, you know, been here before. We know exactly what we need to do. We know how to lock it down on our defense and uh, make sure that, you know, 
you prepare for a strong push by Wiper Lake. This is going to be, you know, a team that when they're up, you know, that's or when they're when they're down, that they're just going to lay over. As always, as we are about to head to break, we're always looking for volunteers and production staff to come and assist us with broadcasting events. If you're interested in such things, you can send Arlen an email, arlen at sctv.org, or give him a call at 651-747-3821. At the half, Stillwater 1, White Bear Lake 0. This is your home for White Bear Lake soccer. Wash hands now. <laughs> Wash hands now. <laughs> Wash hands now. <laughs> Wash hands now. <laughs> Hand washing is one of the best ways to stay healthy all year long. Food, it brings us together, inspires joy, and gives us life. But we can't forget that during this crisis, over 37 million people don't have access to nutritious food. That's one in 12 seniors and one in seven children. In fact, millions of kids aren't able to receive a free or reduced price school lunch right now. The good thing is, we can all help. Learn how you can get involved at feedingamerica.org. When we help each other, we nourish ourselves, our families, and our communities. Every empty seat at a concert, game, or special event is a missed opportunity to say thank you to America's heroes. Donate your extra tickets to VetTix. Give something to those who gave. Go to VetTix.org. Start of the second half here at White Bear Stadium. The fourth-ranked ponies lead the seventh-ranked Bears by a score of one to nothing. Again, as you, if you have not heard, if you have not heard yet that the Minnesota State High School League reversed the decision that they made in August to allow volleyball and football to resume play. Both practices, or practices for both of those sports began on Monday. We have a schedule for you of games and events that we will be at coming up in the month of October. If we have a chance, we'll share that with you later tonight. But lots of football, lots of volleyball on the horizon. We hope that you've enjoyed the soccer coverage as well. It's certainly a sport that I know that we have both grown to, um, both have grown to love and become passionate about over the course of social distance times, especially following the, the Premier League and of course, um, Minnesota State High School League girls soccer at this point in time. Bears will be moving from left to right across your television screen. Again, you see there the goal scorer for tonight, number 21, Sophie, Sophia Steplay has the one goal tonight against White Bear Lake. She had three in the fixture last year at Stillwater High School between the two teams in a five to nothing decision back then for the Stillwater Ponies, but a lot has changed since then. And the Bears look to change their fortunes here in the second half. And you look down at the two coaches for White Bear Lake, Jay, uh, Dave Ashley and John Durkheising, both in their ninth seasons and a very competitive program they have built here and a ball here that will start the second half of play. On the far side, Smith trying to play it further that time as it goes out of bounds, it should be a White Bear Lake throw and that's where the flag will go. One of the things that we saw with Allison Vogt, I'm Alex Westep. One of the things that we saw early in the game in, in the first half was it took a lot of time for White Bear Lake to figure out how they wanted to do things, moving the ball up the field, where Stillwater seemed to have a better sense of flow. Yeah, it definitely uh, has seemed like that. It seems like White Bear Lake has kind of settled down more into um, their game uh, as, a, this, uh, as the first half moved on, and we'll see if they can keep it up in the second half. I expect them to come out with lots of energy and lots of pressure on Stillwater. 
Emily Johnson makes the play again with the platoon duties for White Bear Lake in goal. It's been a switch as Haley Volcati will go ahead and enter between the pipes for White Bear Lake in the second half. Smith as Eckerle forced off the ball by some great defending by C.J. Fredkov. Near side again here for Gabby Hofeld. Hofeld, a little bit of an extension there, but the play roll goes on. Looking near side as they try to move further for Cammie Bachmeyer out of bounds. And the throw coming here near side for Jordan Schmidt. Schmidt deal. Near the out of bounds line, it goes out and will be a goal kick for the Stillwater Ponies. Goal kick Stillwater. For Stillwater, no change in net as of yet. Still Hadley Johnson who got the start. And for Johnson so far, one goal, one goal recorded surrendered on the year. Same percentage of 929 for a goaltender. As the Bears able to wrestle possession back away. Moore trying to spin it out in front. Some top spin on that ball that was just crazy. Forced it back briefly into the White Bear Lake half before the Ponies look to begin the counterattack with Lexi Huber. On a through ball for Bania, Schoberl trying to play defense, but Bania coming on with a head of steam is able to force Volcati to make the play. Headed along, Semanic. A touch pass for Fettinger. Great play again to center for Eckerle. Eckerle. Through ball, near side, looking for Cammie Bachmeyer. Bachmeyer trying to get around, but the goaltender, Hadley Johnson, got to it first, and that's probably the best look that White Bear Lake has had tonight. Yeah, it's definitely um, one of the best looks that they've had tonight. You know, the ball was just a little bit ahead of her. She had a little bit more steam. She could have uh, obviously gotten there. It would have been a great chance. I expect to see more of that from White Bear Lake. You know, keep doing that. Eventually, it's going to it's gonna click. Ball goes out of bounds. Here will be another throw upcoming for White Bear Lake. Off of a couple of players there on the throw from White Bear Lake. Stillwater able to take advantage. Looking for Huber on the inbound. Out of bounds and another, another throw for Bonilla. For Steble from the far wing. Steble is forced off the ball. Another throw here for Stillwater. Steble throwing it down towards the ground here for Bonilla. As it'll be another ball out of bounds. Be a throw here again for Stillwater. We saw this a lot too from in the first half from Stillwater as he worked the ball up here and a cross back into the six, looking for Huber. And Volcata has to come out and make a very difficult save, having to work around a couple of bodies for White Bear Lake. Yeah, it's definitely something that's a little bit uh, of a thing you have to do when you're a keep um, in soccer, is you kind of have to really fight for your positioning and uh, even, you know, maybe sometimes fight your own teammates to make sure you can get to the ball first. Gabby Hofeld, ooh, nice play to keep that ball alive as it goes out of bounds here. And there'll be another throw up coming here for Stillwater near sideline. Johanna Teagarden to make the throw for the Ponies. Looking for Bartosh. They tied up there, Hofeld. Spun back in front, looking to try to start that play again with Cammie Bachmeyer on the near side. Before Alexis Smith pushed off the ball. And we're set now here to the White Bear Lake back line. Schoberl trying to work back into the area. Bartosh again for Stillwater. Some excellent dribbling by Hofeld, able to not take the ball away. Nicole Moore for Eckerle, working on the far wing. Eckerle trying to make sure her team is on side, looking for a cross back into the 16 before it's knocked out of the way, out of bounds, and it will be another goal kick here for Stillwater. Definitely uh, White Bear Lake's putting a lot more pressure on it seems like right now during the first uh, five minutes of this half than they were um, than they were the, during the first five minutes of the second of the first half. Our next confirmed fixture that we'll be covering here on SEC TV, there is a chance that we'll have one on Thursday. We're just waiting for a official decision on schedule. But the next confirmed fixture that will be here with you for is Matamidi Hill Murray in a section 4A rematch from a season ago. Hill Murray won the regular season contest against Matamidi. That'll be on Tuesday. Our friend Jeff Disher will be with you for that broadcast. Again, because it's a postseason game, we cannot live stream that game. However, we will carry it on tape delay. Bachmeyer. 
Forces it out of bounds, and the applause tells you it was an excellent play as it forces the first corner kick for the first for the second half for White Bear Lake. Alexis Smith take it here on the right side wing as you attack the entering zone. No wind right now as the trees on the north side of the stadium are quiet. Smith shoveling it in, goes off of one of the ponies out of harm's way, back out of bounds. The arm is up, and it will be a pony throw. And so as the ponies reset, looking to start back their counterattack on the attacking third for White Bear Lake. They'll have to slow down temporarily. Purdy trying to work her way back around. Some nice footwork to keep the play alive as a bear fell down trying to defend. Chipped shot on goal. Vocati ranges to her right, is able to get to it. She'll hold on. So far, the Bears a better play here in the opening seven minutes of half number two. But Stillwater still leading one to nothing on the Steble goal at the 25th minute. Vocati will have to play it again. We'll have a substitution due up here for White Bear Lake in the next whistle. On a line drive, looking for Eckerley past Smith now for White Bear Lake. For the Ponies, able to play it again here, middle of the field, Fred Gove. Near side, Steble. Steble through the legs that time of Schmidt deal. And now Huber trying to work her way back into the 18. But, ooh, that's just a great foot that time. Take that chance away by Myron Schobro, but the ball will go right near the corner. Whistle blows, and the offside flag is up on the far side. So are putting on a little bit more pressure here, a little bit more of what we saw in the first half from them. Free kick, White Bear and we'll see if White Bear Leg fights back. Well, Caddy to take the kick. And she'll do so from just outside of the 18. Haley's kick can be knocked around that time by Madeline Purdy. Off to the back line. Schmidt deal. Doesn't quite get enough angle on it to push it further into play. Coming back now this time to play it is Bachmeyer. Has it go off of her foot where Teagarden can spin it back down. A chance for Huber, but Huber knocked down defensively by Schoberl as Myron Schoberl was able to just make a good defensive play. Onto the far side, Bonilla. Tangled up that time with Fettinger. As we'll go back near the far sideline, Eckerlay off of her foot and a throw coming here for Stillwater. As we're awaiting the throw for the Stillwater Ponies again, leading one to nothing, so content to take as much time as they'd like. Schoberl off of her foot. Can be gotten to here again now by Gabby Hofeld. Hofeld trying to spin back further up for Smith. Smith will try to cut it back, trying to work around Bartosh on the tackle. Was able to do so that time for Smith again. Smith defended well that time by Madeline Purdy as Smith will try to cut it back. Smith near side looking for Bachmeyer out of bounds. And it'll be a throw here for Stillwater. Airborne, not much spin on it at all. Bartosh. Back line again for Schoberl. As she'll shovel back into the attacking third for White Bear Lake out of bounds and another pony throw. For White Bear Lake, the key to success in the second half has to be keep the ball in the middle as much as you can. Charlie Adam off of her foot, but stays in her favor as it'll be a White Bear Lake throw on a substitution now. As Sydney Johnson will White come Bear back Lake in, replacing six, Gabby Hofeld. Throw from Schmidt deal. Was looking for Bachmeyer. Goes over the defense of Teagarden that time. Schmidt deal. Back here again as it goes center of the pitch, looking to spring the counterattack that time for Huber. But Showbrill does a great job of pushing it back to the defense and the goaltending of Vocati. Line drive looking for Eckerley is taken away here again by Bartosh. Bartosh slipped up, lost her footing just a little bit. And now it can be taken again here by Showbrill off the shoulder, though, of the oncoming Steble, who has the lone goal for Stillwater tonight. Taken again. Bartosh off of her side, it goes out of bounds, and it'll be a throw coming here for the Ponies. As Teagarden will take the throw here on the near side. As Teagarden was looking for Huber, but it's taken out of the play. Goes all the way back down, a chance for Purdy, whose cross into the box is gotten to by Bocatti as it hit off the head of Bartosh out in front, and that'll take that chance away from Stillwater. Far side, Nicole Moore for Lauren Eckerley again. 
Eckerly trying to spring more far wing, unable to do so out of bounds. And another throw here for Stillwater. All of the White Bear Lake players standing at their bench, I guess you could call it. The ponies are all seated. Trying to recreate an opportunity there. No good idea on the through ball, but no receiver there. And so that'll force another chance here back the other way. Hadley Johnson working her way back. The kick right into the middle of the pitch, hops over a pony. Can be played further here now. Sydney Johnson trying to work around the defense of Stebley. Was unable to do so cleanly. And now Bonillo looking to Banana around back to the other way. Bonilla, far side, looking again. Trying to move the ball back out in front. We've gotten too further again there as a pony is down. Throw goes out of bounds. It'll be another pony throw here. Back on the far side, Fettinger puts her foot out there. Was able to slow up the pony defender out of bounds. It'll be a White Bear Lake throw. White Bear Lake trying to take the ball away, but Purdy with a strong leg able to keep the ball on the attacking half for Stillwater. Forced out of bounds that time by Fettinger. No, it's still right in. Nope, there is a throw, okay. But the whistle blows and they'll say it goes in White Bear Lake's favor. Headed further along now, continuing to move the ball back up the pitch here for White Bear Lake. Eckerley will take the throw in. A lot of space near side. Off the head that time of Lundgren. Going out of bounds, trying to apply some pressure to create the chance. Lundgren will send it off of nobody out of bounds. It'll be a White Bear Lake throw for Eckerley again. Eckerley's throw as the Bears all go just outside the edge of the six. Eckerley's throw is strong right on the edge of the six. Headed out of play further by Bartosz. Semanic trying to get to it for White Bear Lake, but the Collected out of, out of the path of danger that time for Stillwater. And a great defensive play by Bartosh. Under it, looking for Huber, looking to start the counterattack for Stillwater. Lexi Huber did not get enough on that through ball to force it through the hole. And so it'll go back here again where it can be played further this time by Purdy. Bachmeyer. For Semanic, they got him here off of Bachmeyer's foot. This will go out of bounds. It'll be a Stillwater throw. And so Teagarden will take the throw here near sideline. Teagarden was looking for Stebley, but found Bartosh and said off of Huber's foot. It'll be a White Bear Lake throw and another substitution here as Olivia Haas will come back in replacing Alexis. That's the match for White Bear Lake, number 22, Olivia Haas. Throw taken here by Stebley before the Bears are able to take command once again. Bachmeyer with some attacking pressure forces another throw here for White Bear Lake on the near side. Schmidt Dale trying to throw that back in. Johnson knocked it off her hand unintentionally. It'll be a free kick here for Stillwater. So we'll have a chance now for the ponies back the other way for CJ Fredkov to take the free kick. Fredkov, right footed kick, trying to find Benny on that far sideline. Fettinger will have to go back to play it again here for White Bear Lake, who will pour, uh, who will knock it out of bounds. It'll be a throw here again for Stillwater. Bartosh on that far side, battling for it. Take it again here, Bartosh. As it go past a couple of Bears, Volcani will come out to make the play. She'll hold on and look to start the counterattack for White Bear Lake. Volcani's kick. A little bit of a collision there. There's Madeline Purdy trying to make the play, but Hadley Johnson tries to send it. Knocked off the foot that time of Haas before it can be once again regained by Stillwater. As they'll start the counter rush. Bartosh, far sideline. Fettinger racing to the ball too. As Fettinger working it back right near the goal line. It goes out of bounds. It'll be a goal kick here for White Bear Lake. So our no, coach is not up. Oh. No, it looks it's as though 
The flag originally was up for goal kick, but they did change it to corner. It'll be the first of this half for Stillwater. They were 0 for 3 in the opening 40. So a chance now for Bartosz for Stillwater. Elevated kick into the area. Can be taken here now and a chance on the counter for White Bear Lake. Kemi Bachmeyer, nice little touch play to keep it going before coming back in the middle. That time was Moore trying to reset for White Bear Lake as now it'll be Fettinger to go back and play it again for White Bear Lake. Fettinger. Working back here on the counter. Eckerle, nice little through ball here for Fettinger. As they'll work back into the attacking third. Fettinger with a ton of space here. Ooh, just knocked it off the defense that time of one of the ponies before the whistle blows. On a bounds advantage, Stillwater. I think it's the most space we've seen either team really have all night inside the uh, Stillwater goal. Nora Wilczek with the excellent challenge on that play for Stillwater. That slowed up what looked to be a stampeding White Bear Lake attack into the attacking third. So Hadley Johnson will get the kick now. On a free kick after a violation. Johnson passed. Eckerle and Bartosh goes out of bounds. Stillwater throw. Looks it'll be Bonilla to take it on that far sideline for the white and red. That's what that time of Huber. Double team defense forces the throw again for White Bear Lake as they seem to be having two players on Huber at all times. Again, the leading score for the Stillwater Ponies and another ball out of bounds. Another throw further along here for White Bear Lake. Free kick, White Bear Lake. It'll be a free kick for the Bears just over the midfield line. We've hit the 58th minute of play, one to nothing to score. 25th minute goal for Sophia Steble, and that's how we've gotten to this one to nothing score so far. Ball out of bounds again. It'll be another throw here for White Bear Lake as they continue to work their way yard by yard up the field. Eckerley's throw. Coming in right into the six. Off of Wilczek that time for Stillwater before it can be cleared out again. Great ooh, attempt on the challenge there that time by Fettinger. And now Huber will start the counter rush back the other way for Stillwater. Here's Huber working back into the attacking third. Huber trying to slow up, working around Schoberl. Huber on the edge of 18. Ooh, a diving attempt at the play that time by Haley Volcati. Okay, it'll be a goal right. kick. Volcani, looking to keep it alive, goes off the head that time of Fred Gov. Bonilla, will spin it around, looking to restart the attack. The attacking third into the 18, where the ponies had a two-on-one advantage, it appeared. Volcani able to get to it with both Huber and Steble pursuing. Off of Purdy. Eckerley able to regain possession for White Bear Lake, through ball. Headed that time again by Lundgren, out of bounds, off the feet of Carolyn Floor on the far side, intentionally or otherwise. A throw now for Fettinger. Looking back in, trying to play further along now. As it can be restarted temporarily by Bartosz before regaining possession in the defensive half of Stillwater. Race to the ball near side, Schmidt deal. Having to play defensively strong against Steble. Goes out of bounds. It'll be a throw here near side for Stillwater. It's Teagard. Throw in. Nice foot that time by Steble. As Schoberl able to counter. Schmidt deal. Steble again for Stillwater. Steble trying to work, got around Schoberl. Steble from a sharp angle right on Volcati, who holds on to make a save. That was a nice little header just to get around the White Bear Lake defenseman right there, uh, just to give her a little bit of a chance. Ball straight up into the air. Haas will still fight for it here. Haas will look to restart. Eckerley further again for Moore. Moore getting around the still wanted defense, trying to create a chance back the other way. Moore. Looking to cross, was unable to do so. That's a great back check that time by the Stillwater back line. 
was able to take that chance away from White Bear Lake as the ball will go out of bounds here. It'll be a throw coming for White Bear Lake. We'll have a whistle. Substitutions back into the game for White Bear Lake. Emma Merriman will return as well as Emma Wickstrom for their respective sides as Kelly Bachmeyer and, and Charlie Adam will come Emma out for Wickstrom. White Bear Lake for the time being. There is a Stillwater substitute awaiting as Maya Notch will return to the game momentarily. Another ball out of bounds. It'll be another throw for White Bear Lake. 62nd minute of play. Now one to nothing still. White Bear Lake leads. Trying to spin and play with that ball a little bit further. Eckerly tried to navigate around Bartosh, but could not do so without contact. As Bartosh will look to restart play. Great play by Schoberl. Eckerly along that far side. Looking to send the attack into the attacking third. He's trying to work around the defense of Lundgren that time. The Bears were unable to create a chance off of it. So they'll reset here near side. Johnson, Sydney Johnson trying to feed that through ball. Emma Wickstrom on the edge of the 18. Whistle blows. It'll be a handball and it'll be possession in favor of Stillwater. Both teams are doing a really great job of uh, playing defense right now. Neither team seems to be able to get too much going on the offensive side of the ball. Um, just when we think that there's a rush and maybe one of the teams will have a chance, the defense uh, stands tall. Jasmine Blair and Alexa Smith looking to return to the game for White Bear Lake next time they are allowed to do so. Headed ball to the back line for White Bear Lake. Great play by Schmidt Deal, I thought, to keep it in, but no, it does go out of bounds, and so that'll be another Stillwater throw. The whistle blows and the substitutes will come on. Smith and Blair will replace Haas and Moore. On the 12, attacking Maya side, and Maya Notch will return for into the game, we're replacing Madeline Smith. Purdy for and Stillwater. Throw from Teagard. Try to work back into the outside edge of the 18. Battling for it that time, Sydney Johnson trying to work around Teagard, but Teagard wins that bout. Back into the area, and Volcani has to come out and make a save, as it was Sophia Steble and Lexi Huber both right in the scoring area. Pass Bartosh. Slowed up now for Wickstrom. Smith is able to reset, looking onto the far side, trying for Eckerle. Eckerle with a through ball, but not enough speed as Sophia Lundgren able to get to it first, but Blair able to force off the ball for another goal kick, though, for Stillwater. Goal kick, Stillwater. Adley Johnson to take the goal kick here. 64th minute of play. Right foot a kick. Taken here now for White Bear Lake. So try to work back in. Chance now. In the area, Hadley Johnson able to get to it and make the save. Huber, Schoberl, making a nice play. Fred Goff. We'll have it back on the far sideline as Bonilla trying to take it away and a great job to tackle the ball away. Now Bonilla has a chance on the outside edge of the 18. Volcati will watch it go past her right glove out of bounds for a goal kick. And again, Stillwater kick, getting Lake. some great chances in the White Bear Lake net, but unable to finish any of them off except for that first one. Back in. Johnson battling for it. Wickstrom able to play it further ahead for Smith. Smith will try a through ball on that far side looking for Jasmine Blair, but past her where it can be played by Lundgren back to the goaltending Hanley Johnson. Fought for. As the ball rolling dangerously out of bounds, it will go so. Again, the orange line all the way around the stadium, both on the near side and outside. Smith getting to the ball again. Working around, trying to feed back in front. Goes out of bounds again. Well, 
We'll have another substitution here for White Bear Lake. As Olivia Haas will come back into the game and will replace Sydney Johnson for White Bear Lake. This will be another throw. And the coaching direction on the near side to stay onside. As the throw comes in just outside the edge of the 18, and now Stillwater can start a counterattack. Near side looking here, trying to move it back now for Steble. Steble battles with Schmidt, Schmidt deal. Could be gotten to again here. Bartosh has it there, tangled up with Semanic a little bit there. But play can continue. Fred Goff. Looking on the far side for Bonilla. Able to keep that play alive as Bonilla will try to work around the defense and is able to do so again. Bonilla from a sharp angle trying to get in front and they score once again. Bonilla fed it in front there for Lexi Huber. Two to nothing Stillwater. Once again, I mean, both teams don't seem to be uh, coming up with too many chances, but Stillwater is definitely capitalizing on their own. Um, you just saw right then there, again, that they know how to score goals when they need it. Stillwater goal. Scored by and you see there just really a great effort to tackle and challenge that ball away, and then just the redeflection there by Lexi Huber. And that's how the Ponies have the two to nothing advantage. It was both Huber and Steble who scored in the regular season meeting between these two teams a year ago. It's been Steble and Huber who have done the same tonight for the Ponies. And that has given them the two to nothing advantage here in the 67th minute of play. Another free kick for the Ponies on the far side looking to start back, play back the other way for Benia out of bounds. Once again, it'll be a throw of coming here for Stillwater. This will be Lundgren on that far sideline to take it. Lundgren will have a go off of a foot that time. Fettinger will send it out of bounds, and the Bears will have to reset defensively. And for a White Bear Lake team that had had so many chances, the Stillwater Ponies have been able to dice through this defense at times tonight, and they've showed it on the last two rushes, capitalizing on that last one. Yeah, you can tell. I mean, the Stillwater, they know how to score. They uh, they know how to put the ball in the net, and they know how to get through even the best of defenses, even as one as good as White Bear Lakes. Um, you know, it's one of those things where White Bear Lake, they might feel a little bit down right now, uh, but you kind of just have to say, you know what? Game's still 0-0 and play as hard as you can and uh, go out there and give it your all. Back through to center. Semanic. They got to here by for Steplay. They're working through now, and a chance as Volcati comes out to make the save as Bonilla in the area. Lifted that back through to center. Or Bonilla will have it again, spinning around the ball. Moving back further for Lundgren. As back into the 18, Volcati able to get to it, and she'll restart playing. Again, two to nothing to score here in the 69th minute of play. The ball will resume. Back at the midfield line now, and a chance for Jasmine Blair, who fights with Lundgren to be able to get to it. Haas. Teagarden was able to get to it first, so clearing it back through the center. Great header that time by Eckerley, followed up by another, but that one goes the wrong way as it will start going into the White Bear Lake defensive end. Onto the far side, Semanic trying to keep Bonilla from playing that ball, but was unable to do so as the ball goes out of bounds and another throw up coming here for Stillwater. You can tell the field is uh, definitely is tilting right now in um, Stillwater's favor. Um, White Bear Lake seems to have gotten a little bit of the winds knocked out of their sails, but hey, both these teams are really good teams and you know, White Bear Lake has proven that they also know how to win, so you know, you never Entry know what's gonna happen in the last 10 minutes of this game. Madeline Purdy, Purdy re-enters the game for Bartosh for Stillwater, and, and Nicole Moore Nicole and Charlie Moore. Adam will come into the game replacing Jasmine Blair as well as Emma Wickstrom for White Bear Lake. This is the last game, the last fixture scheduled for both sides here in the regular season. If the result holds, White Bear Lake would finish in second in the Suburban East Conference regular season standings. And Stillwater would hold on to the crown for top of the Suburban East. So it's the Creighton Durham Hall Raiders who won the Suburban East Conference last year. And in a regular year, you'd certainly think that this would be a 
number one seed in the four AA playoffs for Stillwater. Unfortunately, that not to be the case this year. As ball tangled four. Got here now a chance at Stebley. Great job that time, trying to spin it for Huber, but coming back to the ball was Eckerle as Huber goes down and is looking for a call from the official. But play continues in the attacking third. Bania working around the defense of Fettinger that time from the outside edge. It'll be another free kick for Stillwater. This free kick's almost like a corner kick for them. Um, you know, the last thing you want to do when you're white bear like is to give them these chances like that, especially when you're trying to score two quick goals in the last 10 minutes of the game. We talk a lot about the play of Huber and Stebley, but how strong has Marissa Bonilla been on the ball tonight? There's a chance right here in the, now for Purdy. Purdy with a spinning shot that just goes high over the crossbar. That was a really, really great shot, really great chance. You know, if that ball is six inches lower, you're looking at another uh, Stillwater goal. Entering the match for White Bear Lake, number five, Gabby Lake Holfield. As Gabby Holfield comes in as Lauren Eckerle will take a seat for the first time tonight. We've hit the 72nd minute of play. Liner, far side. Can be knocked out of play. It'll be a throw up coming here for White Bear Lake. And in what's been a season of so much success, this will be a, a bit of a, a brief mark on what's been a, a strong regular season for White Bear Lake if, there's results hold, if the result holds. On the far side, Bonilla tangling up there on that far sideline with Emma Merriman. Free kick pony. It'll be a free kick for the ponies. As it'll be Sophia Lundgren to take it on the far side. And Lundgren with the right foot working into the area of Okati oh first God. to it. Didn't have to go through anybody to do so. She'll oh look to start God. a counterattack back the other way. Alexis Smith trying to escape an oncoming Madeline Purdy. Still able to do so with a bit of a size advantage. Merriman has to go off of her foot where Teagarden can take back possession. But Smith finds a loose ball. Smith, once again for Semanic, trying to get around her. Goes back again to Jordan Schmidt deal. Off the foot that time where Semanic back on the defensive line. Hofeld. Trying to create some space. Hofeld trying to work around Lexi Huber there, but not quite able to do so. And now Marissa Bonilla on the oh far wing, able to restart a rush back the other way for Stillwater. Bonilla, excellent dribbling down the far sideline as Bonilla will cut back, looking to cross into the area. Gotten to again here by Lundgren. Lundgren's kick, looking for a redirection on a header of Sophia Stebley. It goes out of bounds. Goal kick for the Bears. Another great rush right there by Stillwater. Uh, after what seemed like that, White Bear Lake was going to, you know, start putting pressure on, but they were able to turn it around. Entering the match for White Bear Lake, number 41, Emma Fowles. Emma Fowles re-enters the game for White Bear, for White Bear Lake. Go, Jay. It'll be a goal kick up coming here for Volcati. Header. Again for Steble. Looking for Bonilla for Volcati, able to get to the loose ball. 74th minute of play here. Again, if you're looking for information as far as when our truck will be out broadcasting games, again, you can find that information on the Suburban Community Channel's website or go to Suburban Community Channel's social media outlets. You can find us on Twitter, SEC TV Sports. You can find us on Facebook, Suburban Community Channels is what you search for. Many of you found that through Facebook tonight on a chance back the other way for White Bear Lake, but off the foot there of Grace Kleppe, and it will be a chance back into the attacking half. You can also find us on Instagram at SEC TV, and you can find us on YouTube at SCC TV as well, or just simply look for Suburban Community Channels. There you'll find our archive of all of our high school athletics, as well as many arts and uh, performance arts as well. So certainly lots to be able to look forward to on that. Fox, Showbrill. Elevated further ahead now, can go back to Showbrill though now on a loose ball. As Showbrill passes here again for Haas, looking back for Fox again. As will spin on the far sideline, looking for Fettinger. Fettinger for Hofeld. Hofeld trying to work around Huber, but Lexi Huber 
is able to send it back into the attacking third now for Stillwater here with five minutes remaining in the 76th minute of play. Out of bounds. Near it out of bounds, rather, excuse me. Hofel off of her foot. That time it is for sure out of bounds. It'll be a throw coming for White Bear Lake. The throw in off of Huber's foot. We'll try it again. Bettinger will make the throw here for White Bear Lake. And again, you see there Dave Ashley and John Dirk Heising, who have led White Bear Lake to be one of the top programs in the state. There is a whistle and a free kick free coming here White for Bear White Bear Lake in the waning moments of this one. So the Bears will fall to the Stillwater Ponies tonight. They will follow a record of two, seven and two, and the Ponies will improve to a record of eight, oh, and one. And that will wrap up both teams' regular seasons. One last chance, so as Nicole Moore tried to put the spin cycle on the defense. Gotten through into the outside of the 18. Here's now again is Bonilla. Bonilla trying to elevate further for Steble. Steble trying a chip shot over Volcanic, but it goes wide to the right. It'll be another goal kick. Goal kick White Bear Both Lake. teams have been held to only one corner kick opportunity. We're going to have a whistle and a stoppage of the clock, as that is the rule on substitutions inside of five minutes. The clock must stop on substitutions. As Steble will come out, will Stillwater. be replaced Number by Natalie Lohr. Off the foot that time. Bania trying to work around the defense. She has been able to do so a number of times tonight. Bania taking it into the corner, goes out of bounds. It'll be a Stillwater throw from as close to the corner flag as you can get. It's Natalie Lair who entered the game. Or no, they will rule a corner. Or no, it will be a throw. Okay, he pointed at the corner, so I apologize for that. Throw back in. High into the air, Schobro will send it out of bounds. This time it will be a corner kick. And corner kick be CJ Fredkov to take it for Stillwater. This will be the second attempt on corners, fifth of the game for Stillwater. It's Fredkov, high over everybody, was looking for Huber on the back post, was unable to find her though. It'll be a goal kick here. For the Stillwater Ponies, again, goals by Steble at the 25th minute and Huber at the 67th minute. Give them the 2 to nothing advantage, which barring a fanatical comeback will result in their eighth victory of the year. Vocati from a long ways out off of Huber's foot is able to hold on. Behind the air once again. Pass Fred Goff. Two minutes remaining in the half. Bounds near it. Lundgren. Back on the far side for Fred Goff. This time it does go out of bounds. It'll be another throw here for White Bear Lake. White Bear Lake and the Bears have been held scoreless once previously on the season. It was their last home fixture against East Ridge. And it looks as though they will be held scoreless again here tonight. Throw on the far sideline for the Bears again. Bonilla is able to get to it first. Fawkes and Schobro will knock at the length of the field. He's looking for more to try to create an offensive chance. Goes out of bounds off of Lundgren, and it'll be a throw here for White Bear Lake. Hofel try to get it back in front for Fawkes. A little bit of contact there as the ball goes back for Schoberl, who will go back into her own defensive half to play it. Schoberl off the foot that time of Benia, out of bounds, White Bear Lake throw inside the last minute of play, winding down the regular season for both the Stillwater Ponies and the White Bear Lake Bears. As Huber evades the oncoming pressure of Nicole Moore, got a shot on, was able to make the save that time was Haley Vocati. As her kick, Goes back into the White Bear Lake attacking third off of the foot that time of Madeline Purdy, but a great job by Schmidt deal to make the play there. Haas will cut back. It's taken away here again by Stillwater as Lair had to go off of her foot out of bounds past the goal line, and it'll be a goal kick here as ruled. 
for White Bear Lake. In no 15, kick, White 14 Bear Lake. seconds here to go as the clock winds down on the Stillwater Pony victory over the White Bear Lake Bears tonight. Line drive through the center past Smith. Can be gotten to Three, further again here this two, time for one. Blair and Hofeld as the siren sounds here at White Bear Lake for a Stillwater Pony team, their eighth victory of the year. And for Stillwater, they really had the better of play in the second half, and they showed it on the scoreboard and on the time of possession as well. Yeah, Stillwater definitely um, had more of that possession during that whole entire game. Um, there are definitely times where White Bear Lake pushed back, but Stillwater uh, showed you why they are undefeated right now tonight. Um, they did a great job defensively, and then when they did get chances, they capitalized on them. So for White, for Stillwater, they will wrap up the regular season with a record of 8-0-1, good for 25 points in the Suburban East Conference standings. For the Bears, they will fall to 7-2, and two, and they will stay in second place with 21 points. Moundsview at 17, Woodbury 15, Eastridge 13, and all the way on down the table from there. So far, that concludes the regular season schedule. Again, we'll be back with you on the airwaves, potentially on Thursday once the fixtures get released, and we'll find out where we are again. Tune into our social media, SCC TV Sports, for information as far as where we will be next. But for now, tonight from White Bear Stadium, the final. Stillwater 2, White Bear Lake 0 for Allison Vogt, Arlen Becker, David Schuyler, all of our friends and camera operators outside in the cold. This is Alex West Dev. 2-0 the final on your home for White Bear Lake Soccer.